This is a recording of the English Wikipedia article chiptune as it appeared on June 9, 2020, Old ID version 963474218, read by myself, user Arlo Barnes, on June 21, 2020. Chiptune, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. For the altering of car electronics, see chip tuning. Chiptune, also known as chip music, is a style of synthesized electronic music made using the programmable sound generator P PSG sound chips or synthesizers in vintage arcade machines, computers, and video game consoles. The term is commonly used to refer to tracker format music, which intentionally sounds similar to older PSG created music. This is the original meaning of the term as well as music that combines PSG sounds with modern musical styles. It, is, it has been described as an interpretation of many genres, since any existing song can be arranged in a chiptune style defined more by choice of instrument and timbre than specific style elements. By the early 1980s, personal computers had become less expensive and more accessible than they had been previously. This led to a prolifer this led to a proliferation of outdated personal computers and game consoles that had been abandoned by consumers as they upgraded to newer machines. They were in low demand by consumers as a whole, and thus were not difficult to find, making them highly accessible and affordable method of creating sound or art. While it has been a mostly underground genre, chiptune has had periods of moderate popularity in the 1980s and 21st century, and has influenced the development of electronic dance music. A waveform generator is a fundamental module in a sound synthesis system. A waveform generator usually produces a basic geometrical waveform with a fixed or variable timbre and variable pitch. Common waveform generator configurations usually included two or three simple waveforms and often a single pseudorandom noise generator, PRNG. Available waveforms often included pulse wave, whose timbre can be varied by modifying the duty cycle, square wave, a symmetrical pulse wave producing only odd overtones, triangle wave, which has a fixed timbre containing only odd harmonics but is softer than a square wave, and sawtooth wave, which has a bright, raspy timbre and contains odd and even harmonics. Two notable examples of systems employing this technology comprise the Nintendo Game Boy Portable Game Console and the Commodore 64 Personal Computer. The Game Boy uses two pulse channels, switchable between 12.5%, 25%, 50%, 75% wave duty cycle, a channel for 4-bit pulse code, pulse code modulation PCM playback, and a pseudo-random noise generator. The Commodore 64, however, used the MOS technology SID chip, which offered three channels, each switchable between pulse, sawtooth, triangle, and noise. Unlike the Game Boy, the pulse channels on the Commodore 64 allowed full control over wave duty cycles. The SID was a very technically advanced chip, offering many other features including ring modulation and adjustable resonance filters. Due to limited number of voices in those primitive chips, one of the main challenges is to produce rich polyphonic music with them. The usual method is to emulate it via quick arpeggios, which is one of the most relevant features of chiptune music along, of course, with its electronic timbres. Some older systems featured a simple beeper as their only sound output, as the original ZX Spectrum and IBM PC. Despite this, many skilled programmers were able to produce unexpectedly rich music with this bare hardware, where the sound is fully generated by the system's CPU by direct control of the beeper. In Set Image, a musician's chiptune setup involving Game Boy handheld gaming consoles. History the earliest precursors to chip music can be found in the early history of computer music. In 1951, the computers CSIRAC and Ferranti Mark I were used to perform real-time synthesized digital music in public. One of the earliest commercial computer music albums came from the first Philadelphia Computer Music Festival, held August 25, 1978, as part of the Personal Computing 78 show. The first Philadelphia Computer Music Festival recordings were published by Creative Computing in 1979. The global TV program Science International, 1976-79, credited a PDP-11-10 for the music. Video Game Origins 
chiptune music began to appear with the video game music produced during the golden age of video arcade games. An early example was the opening tune in Tomohiro Nishikado's arcade game Gunfight, 1975. The first video game to use a continuous background soundtrack was Tomohiro Nishikado's 1978 release Space Invaders, which had four simple chromatic descending bass notes repeating in a loop. Though it was dynamic and interacted with the player, increasing pace as the enemies descended on the player. The first video game to feature continuous melodic background music was Rally X, an arcade game released by Namco in 1980, featuring a, sim a simple tune that repeats continuously during gameplay. It was also one of the earliest games to use a digital-to-analog converter to produce sampled sounds. That same year, the first video game to feature speech, speech synthesis was also released, Sunsoft's shoot-'em-up arcade game Stratovox. In the late 1970s, the pioneering electronic dance and synth-pop group Yellow Magic Orchestra YMO, were using computers to produce synthesized music. Some of their early music, including their 1978 self-titled debut album, were sampling sounds from popular arcade games such as Space Invaders and Gunfight. In addition to incorporating sounds from contemporary video games into their music, the band would later have a major influence on much of the video game and chiptune music produced during the 8-bit and 16-bit eras. Sega's 1982 arcade game Super Locomotive, for example, featured a chiptune cover version of YMO's Rydeen, 1979. Several later computer games also covered the song, such as Trooper Truck, 1983, by Rabbit Software, as well as Daily Thompson's Decathlon, 1984, and Strikers Run, 1986, arranged by Martin Galway. By 1983, Konami's arcade game Gyrus utilized five sound chips along with a digital-to-analog converter, which were partly used to create an electronic rendition of J.S. Bach's Toccata and Fugue in D minor. In 1984, former YMO member Haruomi Hosono released an album produced entirely from Namco arcade game samples entitled Video Game Music, an early example of a chiptune record, and the first video game music album. The record featured the work of Namco's chiptune composers Toshio Kai of Pac-Man in 1980, Nobuyuki Onogi uh, of Galaga, New Rally X, and Bosconian in 1981, and Pole Position in 1982, and Yuriko Kaino of Dig Dug and Zevius in 1982. FM Synthesis A major advance for chip music was the introduction of Frequency Modulation Synthesis, FM Synthesis, first commercially released by Yamaha for their digital synthesizers and FM sound chips, which began appearing in arcade machines from the early 1980s. Arcade game composers utilizing FM synthesis at the time included Konami's Miki Higashino of Gradius, Ye Ar Kung Fu, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Sega's Hiroshi Kawaguchi of Space Harrier, Hang On, and Outrun. By the early 1980s, significant improvements to personal computer game music were made possible with the introduction of digital FM synthesis sound. Yamaha began manufacturing FM synth boards for Japanese computers such as the NEC PC-8801 and PC-9801 in the early 1980s, and by the mid-1980s the PC-8801 and FM-7 had built-in FM sound. This allowed computer game music to have greater complexity than the simplistic beeps from internal speakers. These FM synth boards produced a warm and pleasant sound that musicians such as Yuzo Koshiro and Takeshi Abo utilized to produce music that is still highly regarded within the chiptune community. In the early 1980s, Japanese personal computers such as the NEC PC-88 and PC-98 featured audio programming languages such as the Music Macro Language, MML, and MIDI interfaces, which were most often used to produce video game music. Fujitsu also released the FM Sound Editor software for the FM7 in 1985 providing users with a user-friendly interface to create and edit synthesized music. The widespread adoption of S FM synthesis by consoles would later be one of the major advances of the 16-bit era, by which time 16-bit arcade machines were using multiple FM synthesis chips. A major chiptune composer during this period was Yuzo Koshiro. Despite later advances in audio technology, he would continue to use older PC-8801 hardware to produce chiptune soundtracks for series such as Streets of Rage, 1991-1994, and Etrian Odyssey, 2007-present. 
His soundtrack to The Revenge of Shinobi, 1989, featured house and progressive techno compositions that fused electronic dance music with traditional Japanese music. The soundtrack for Streets of Rage 2, 1992, is considered revolutionary and ahead of its time for its blend of swaggering house synths, dirty electro-funk, and trancey electronic textures that would feel as comfortable in a nightclub as a video game, according to Joe McNeely. For the soundtrack to Streets of Rage 3, 1994, Koshiro created a new composition method called the Automated Composing System to produce fast beat techno like Jungle, resulting in innovative and experimental sounds generated automatically. Koshiro also composed chiptune soundtracks for series such as Dragon Slayer, YS, Shinobi, and Act Razor. Another important FM synth composer was the late Ryu Umemoto, who composed chiptune soundtracks for various visual novel and shoot 'em up games. SID Music Culture. See also MOS Technology SID and Demo Scene. Later on, several demo groups moved to using their own music instead of ripped game music. In 1986, Jeroen Red Kimmel studied Rob Hubbard's player routine and used it for original demo songs before writing a routine of his own in 1987. Hobbyists were also writing their own dedicated music editor software, such as Chris Hulsbeck's Sound Monitor, which was released as a type-in listing in the 1986 issue of the German C64 magazine 64er. The practice of SID music composition has continued seamlessly until this day in conjunction with the Commodore 64 demo scene. The High Voltage SID Collection, a comprehensive archive of SID music, contains over 40,000 pieces of SID music. In set picture, MOS 6581 and 8580 Commodore 64 SID chips. Tracker chip tunes. See also Music Tracker and Module File. The Commodore Amiga, 1985, with its wavetable and sample-based sound synthesis, distanced the concept of computer music... I'm going to take a pause for a second. The Commodore Amiga, with its wavetable and sample-based sound synthesis, distanced the concept of microcomputer music away from plain chip-synthesized sounds. Amiga Tracker Music Software beginning from Karsten Obarski's Ultimate Sound Tracker, 1987, inspired great numbers of computer enthusiasts to create computer music. As an offshoot of the burgeoning tracker music culture, a type of tracker music reminiscent of Commodore 64 SID music was born. This type of music came to be called chiptunes, referring to Amiga's chip memory, the part of memory that custom chips can access. Earliest examples of tracker chiptunes date back to 1989, and are attributed to the demo scene musicians Format, Baroque, TDK, Turtle, and Duz. Tracker chiptunes are based on very loop Tracker chiptunes are based on very short looped waveforms, which are modulated by tracker effects such as arpeggio, vibrato, and portamento. Musicians like Random Voice later included the technique of rapidly repeating series of offset waveforms in order to fully emulate one single SID instrument with trackers. The small amount of sample data made tracker chiptunes far more space efficient than most other types of tracker music, which made them appealing to size limited demo scene demos and crack intros. Tracker chiptunes have also been commonly used in other wares scene executables, such as keygens. Nowadays, the term chiptune is also used to cover chip music with actual chip based synthesis, but some sources, such as the Amiga Music Preservation Project, still define a chiptune specifically as a small tracker module. Mainstream popularity. The heyday of chiptune music was the 1980s. The earliest commercial chiptune records produced entirely from sampling arcade game sounds have existed since the mid-1980s, an early example being Haruomi Hosono's video game music in 1984. Though entirely chiptune records were uncommon at the time, many mainstream musicians in the pop rock, hip hop, and electronic music genres were sampling arcade game sounds and beeps, or bleeps, during the golden age of video arcade games, late 1970s to mid-1980s, as early as Yellow Magic Orchestra's Computer Game in 1978. Buckner and Garcia's Pac-Man Fever and the album of the same name were major hits in 1982. Arcade game sounds were one of the foundational elements of the electro-music genre, 
which in turn inspired many other electronic dance music genres such as techno and house music, which were sometimes referred to as bleep music. Space Invaders inspired Player One's Space Invaders, 1979, which in turn provided the baseline for Jesse Saunders' On and On, 1984, the first Chicago house track. Warp's record Test Stone, 1990, by Sweet or Exorcist, sampled video game sounds from Yellow Magic Orchestra's computer game, and defined Sheffield's bleep techno scene in the early 1990s. After the 1980s, however, chiptune music began declining in popularity. Since then, up until the night. Since then, up till until the 2000s, chip music was rarely performed live, and the songs were nearly exclusively spread as executable programs and other computer file formats. Some of the earliest examples of record label releases of pure chip music can be found in the late 1990s. Chiptune music began gaining popularity again toward the end of the 1990s. The first Electro Clash record, IF's Space Invaders Are Smoking Grass, 1997, has been described as burbling electro in a vocodered homage to Atari-era hijinks. By the mid-2000s, 8-bit chip music began making a comeback in mainstream pop music when it was used by acts such as Beck, for example the 2005 song Girl, The Killers, for example the 2004 song On Top, No Doubt with the song Running, and particularly The Postal Service in many of their songs. The low-quality digital PCM styling of early game music composers such as Hiroshi Kawaguchi also began gaining popularity. In 2003, the J-pop girl group Perfume, along with producer Yasutaka Nakata, began producing music combining chiptunes with synth-pop and electro house. Their breakthroughs came in 2007 with Game, which led to other Japanese female artists using a similar electronic style, including Aira Mitsuki, Imi, Mizuka, Sawa, Seori at Destiny, and Sweet Vacation. Electro House producer Dead Mouse started his career in the late 1990s with a chiptune and demo scene movement's influenced sound. Three self released compilations Project 56, Dead Mouse circa 1998 to 2002, and A Little Oblique were finished in 2006. In 2007, the notable, entirely chiptune album, 8 Bit Operators, The Music of Kraftwerk, was released on major mainstream label Astralwerks, or EMI Records, which included several prominent and noted chip musicians, including Nanoloop creator Oliver Wichow and Little Sound DJ creator Johan Kotlinski, who appears as the artist role model. Kraftwerk founding member Ralf Hutter personally selected the tracks. A vinyl 12-inch single version was released on February 24, 2007, as a precursor to the full-length CD and reached as high as number 17 on the Billboard magazine Hot Dance Singles Sales Chart. In March 2007, the CD release reached as high as number 1 on the CMJ RPM, the North American College Electronic Charts. Edinburgh-born electronic musician Unicord Kid has helped further popularize chiptune, especially with the song True Love Fantasy and other songs from the EP Tidal Rave being played on late night radio including on BBC Radio 1, where he played live on the Festive Festival 2011. In Canada, 8 Cubed and Crystal Castles helped the popularity further via the Toronto underground club scene, and created a lasting impression with the music video Heart Invaders, debuting on Much Music in 2008, and the single Alice Practice hitting 29th on NME 150 Best Tracks of the Past 15 Years. During the late 2000s, a new wave of chiptune culture took place, boosted by the release of software such as Little Sound DJ for the Game Boy. This new culture has much more emphasis on live performances and record releases than the demo scene and tracker culture, of which the new artists are often only distantly aware, according to Alex Yabsley. In recent years, 8-bit chiptune sounds, or video game beats, have been used by a number of mainstream pop artists. Examples include artists such as Kesha, most notably in TikTok, the best-selling single of 2010, 50 Cent with the hit single Ayo Technology, Robin, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, for example, Hellbound, Nelly Furtado, and Timbaland, see Timbaland pl Plagiarism Controversy. The incidents of video game sounds can also be heard in contemporary British electronica music by artists such as Dizzy Rascal and Kieran Hebden, as well as in heavy metal bands such as Dragon Force. Grime music in particular samples sawtooth wave sounds from video games which were popular in East London. 
Dubstep producers have also been influenced by video game chiptunes, particularly the work of Yuzo Koshiro. In 2010, a BBC article stated that the sights and sounds of old school games, naming Frogger and Donkey Kong as examples, are now becoming a part of mainstream music and culture. Complextro pioneer Porter Robinson has also cited video game sounds or chiptunes as an influence on his style of music, along with 1980s analog synth music. Contemporary chiptune music. The chip scene has become relevant thanks to compos being held, groups releasing music discs, and with the crack tro demo scene. New tracker tools are used for making chip sounds available to less techy musicians. The NES platform has the MIDI NES, a cartridge that turns the system into a full-blown hardware MIDI-controlled synthesizer. Recently for the Commodore 64, the m has recently been released, which is very similar to the MIDI NES, but with greater parameter controls, sequencing, analog drum emulation, and limited sample playback. The Commodore PET has the open-source PET synth software, which uses the PET's 6522 chip for sound allows the computer to be played like a piano keyboard, and features many effects. On the DOS platform, Fast Tracker is one of the most famous contemporary chiptune makers because of the ability to create hand-drawn samples with the mouse. Chiptune artist Pixel Hate has also designed music software such as Music Tech for the Game Boy, and the Pro Performer for the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS, which turn both machines into real-time synthesizers. Inset Picture, a tracker loaded onto a Game Boy Advance. Uh, inset audio files, Skip Cloud, The Adventure Lights, 2011, and Drozerix, Computer Adventures, 2012. These are examples of modern day chiptune tracks distributed as standalone music files without being a part of a video game soundtrack. Chip music has returned to 21st century gaming, either in full chip music style or using chip, chip samples in the music. Popular games that feature chiptune elements in their soundtracks include Mega Man Battle Network. Super Meat Boy, Duck Game, VVVVVV, Super Hexagon, Fez, Shovel Knight, and Undertale. Furthermore, the Electronic Frontier Foundation in December 2010 used a faux 8-bit game with an 8-bit soundtrack by Crash Faster to demonstrate its notable legal achievements for that year. In March 2012, the Smithsonian American Art Museum's The Art of Video Games exhibit opened, featuring a chip music soundtrack at the entrance by artists 8-Bit Weapon and Compute Her. 8-Bit Weapon also created a track called The Art of Video Games Anthem for the exhibit. In September 2015, the first music compilation based on Domo of NHK, Domo Loves Chiptune, was released on iTunes, Amazon, and all major music streaming services. The compilation features top artists in the chiptune genre, such as Anamanaguchi and Disasterpiece. Domo Loves Chiptune also features the first chiptune remix of the Domo theme song by Mystery Mansion. The New York City chiptune scene was also the subject of a documentary called Reformat the Planet by Two Player Productions. This film was an official selection at the 2008 South by Southwest. There have been a number of television segments featuring chiptunes and chip music artists in the past few years. On October 11, 2005, 8-Bit Weapon played their songs Bombs Away and Game Boy Rocker on G4's Attack of the Show live, broadca live broadcast, episode number 5058. In 2008, as a parody of Masterpiece Theater, the first four episodes of Boing Boing Video's Spam Masterpiece Theater opened with a chiptune remix of Jean-Joseph Mouret's Rondeau Fanfare of 1735 by Ham Hawk's Buttermilk Johnson. Another chip music feature included Little Scale, Dot AY, 10,000 Free Men and Their Families, and Jim Cuomo on the ABC Australia television series Good Game. Live Performances MAGFEST and Chip Space Events take place all around the world that focus around the celebration and recognition of chiptune music. In the United States, during Super MAGFEST, a yearly convention that hosts a variety of video game related events, popular chiptune artists such as Goto80 and Chipsil have previously performed on the concert hall main stage. A chiptune focused main stage show, aptly named Chip Rave, typically occurs on the third day of the convention within the concert hall and has featured countless prominent faces in the chiptune community. Super Magfest also holds a continuous venue called Chip Space, a place where participants in the chiptune community go on stage and perform their music through an open mic system. 
originally started by Chiptunes Equals Win founder Brandon L. Hood, and maintained by Geekbeat Radio, Chipspace has evolved over the course of MAGFest's lifespan to bring Chiptune fans closer together. Among these daily performances are showcases, which are curated by Chiptune net labels such as Chiptunes Equals Win, Geekbeat Radio, and more. Inset Picture, the crowd area and marketplace for Chipspace during MAGFest 2020. Chipspace is an all-inclusive venue for the Chiptune community to perform their music. This concludes the reading of the English Wikipedia article Chiptune. You can find the current version of the article at https colon slash slash en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash chiptune.